Wes Borg. You must be the new uh, trainee? Yeah, hi. Yeah, welcome. Look, I'm uh, supposed to show you the ropes, I guess, so uh, welcome. Uh, Internet help desk, it's a tough gig. <laughs> yeah. No, I figure you got four basic essential services in our society. You got your police, your fire, your ambulance, Internet help desk. <laughs> you know, air traffic controllers claim they have the most stressful job. Ha! But I'll tell you, man, there is nothing that beats the adrenaline buzz of configuring some idiot's ADSL modem, even though he's running Windows 3.1 on a 386 with four megs of RAM, man. <laughs> Just a second. Thank you for calling the Internet Help Desk. One of our trained technicians will be with you shortly. Please hold. Okay, so that's the first thing. The hold button is your best friend, okay? Always put the customer on hold right off the bat. Shows them who's boss. Thank you for holding. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. <laughs> Take some of the fight out of them, you know? Which is important, because when they start telling you they don't know how to use a mouse or that they've been putting their coffee cup in their CD-ROM tray, and they start to realize what an idiot they are, they are going to be venting all over you, my friend. But don't worry. I'm here. I'm a vet. I'm a pro. Hell, I've been here eight months. <laughs> Which, you know, in internet time is about 25 years. Uh, okay, thank you for holding. My name's Wes. How can I help you? Uh-huh. You can't get your email. Ooh, that does sound serious. Okay, well, um, can you be more specific? You can't. Okay, please hold. Thanks for holding. Okay, um, I'm going to need to find out if you're running Microsoft Outlook Express or Netscape Communicator. No, you don't. Okay, well, look in the top right corner of your screen. Do you see a big blue E or a big green N? Big black nothing. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I'm, I'm really sorry. That's totally my fault. Okay, what you're going to need to do... What you're going to need to do... Now, listen to me very carefully. You're going to have to turn your computer on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll wait. Guy's got 10,000 times the power of the computer we use to land on the moon, and he needs me to turn it on. <laughs> okay, good. You got it all booted up? No, sir, please stop kicking it. No, is it turned on? Good, great. Okay. Now, what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to read me from the big TV part. You're going to need to read me the name of the little picture that you double-click on to get your email normally. Microsoft Outlook. Okay, so Outlook Express or uh, Outlook Express. Okay, great. Go ahead and double click on that. All right, good. Okay, now I need you to go up to your tool bar up at the top. There's File, Edit, View, blah, 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 Tools, okay? Click up there, bring it down, click on Accounts, okay? Then when the window comes up, click on the Mail tab, click on the blue text, click on Prop... No, Tools. Tools. <laughs> tools, sir. Microsoft Office. No, no, you're not running Office, sir. No, you've run the wrong program. No, it's my fault entirely. Don't worry about it. Okay, good. Um, just, no, illegal instruction. Well, I'm sorry, your copy of Office must be pooched, sir. No, 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 you haven't broken any laws. It's an illegal instruction. It's a, it's a compute. No, sir, please stop crying. Do not unplug it. Do not unplug. Okay, well, let's just plug it back in there. Good. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, uh, uh, you go ahead and just let it start up, and I'll be right back. Okay. We've got a serious 12 o'clock flasher here. Okay, you know what that means? Every appliance in his house is always flashing 12. <laughs> There's no way to get a 12 o'clock flasher online, okay? It cannot be done. I've seen guys eat their own headsets trying. It can't be done. And i got to go to plan B. Hi there, sir. Um, I was just wondering, do you have a child in the house? <laughs> you do? Great. Good. And how old is she? Nine. Excellent. Could I talk to her for just a second? Great. Thanks. Hi there. Hi, who am I talking to? Well, hi, Beth. What grade are you in? Four. Wow, that's great. 
Who do you like better? You like the Spice Girls or you like the Britney Spears? Oh, yeah, I guess they are a little 20th century. Um, okay, uh, listen, Beth, here's the thing, okay? Your daddy really needs to get his Outlook Express configured to use the third-party dialer instead of LAN or, you know, whatever it's set to. Yeah, could you configure that? Thanks. Okay, and check out his SMTP preferences. I think they might be pooched. Okay, thanks, Beth. Oh, and Beth, Beth, look, um, if I were you, the next time your daddy tells you his computer isn't working, tell him it's broken, okay? And tell him to give it to you to play with and send him out to buy an iMac, okay? It's a computer especially built for 80, um... <laughs> for, for mommies and daddies, okay? All right, Beth. Okay, we'll see ya. No, I don't want to talk to him. Thanks. Okay, bye.